What motivated me was, was being a, an athlete, in particular, an African-American athlete, and, and being smart, too. You know, I wanted to crush that phrase of a dumb jock. You know, when, when I was coming up, I heard too many stories about successful athletes not getting their grades, falling out of college, not being successful. So as I got more mature in high school, you know, being one of the only African-American males in, in honors classes. I took it as a challenge. You know, I wanted to be an example and show everybody around that I'm just as smart, I could be just as intelligent as anybody, and I could also be good in sports. And the Bears are bringing extra heat. High snap, and the left footer gets it down, and it's a line drive, and the quarters are going to let this one bounce at the two. Probably when I think about the person that had the most influence besides my parents would be, you know, a good teacher and mentor friend of mine would be uh, Max Poo. He was, uh, he used to go around to uh, different middle schools and high schools and give, uh, you know, discipline speeches and speeches about, you know, what, the way you choose to, to live your life and the consequences you're going to live by. And, and it always, you know, I just got to, to really get close to him and, and uh, really take into effect because he helped out a bunch of uh, myself and a bunch of friends of ours and, and uh, just showing us the direction that we want to take our lives and how to treat people and how to respect people. All of our programs at the John Lynch Foundation are centered around the principle of creating young leaders. Uh, that was our our vision six years ago when we started this Salute the Star, uh, Stars program, our first one. and um, We set the programs in order to motivate, to, to, to try to pull this out of kids. And what we found is that they've taken the ball and run it. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When I got the head job at, at Tampa in 96, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was get some people that had that same philosophy, that, that wanted to get their players to play the best that they could, could play, and that's all that they were about. And I said, tell me some of the, the, the good coaches out there. Who have you seen? What, what teams? What units are really, really well coached? And a lot of names came up, but the names that came up from everybody were Lovey Smith. <laughs> touch with Lovey Smith, they were recruiting, he was at Ohio State and he came into Indianapolis as a matter of fact, uh, we're at the scouting combine and we sat down with him all day and it, it didn't take very long to find out, you know, here's another special guy. So we, we started that family relationship in 96. I've heard Tony a few times talk about his tree and how the tree is growing and there's different branches coming off from it. And I can't tell you how proud I am to be one of those branches. It will be uh, different to say the least uh, competing against Tony. You know how it is. I mean, you had to compete against your brother from time to time. Back in 1996, who would have thought that we'd be in this situation? Uh, God has definitely been good to us. Touchdown! What a play! Marion rolls in for the touchdown! But Miami, Florida, and Super Bowl 41. And the guy walks in for the touchdown. Intercepted. Colts are going to the Super Bowl. We've got a great group of guys, and I'm very proud of them. We talked in the locker room at halftime. We said we just have to keep our poise and continue to play, and we'd have a chance in the fourth quarter. It's all about that third goal that everyone has each year, and all you want is an opportunity. And we have an opportunity now to achieve that goal. It means a lot. I'm very proud to, to represent African-American coaches. I'm so proud of Lovey. Tremendous job they did. That's how you win. You win with people. That, that's how you win. You win with people. That's how you win. You win with people. Uh, and, and it's not talent. It's not X's and O's. It's not because you know more than the other guys. You, you get good people to believe in what you're doing.